how to extend ppf beyond 15 years that's a topic for discussion today in the market secrets investment series before we get started i'd like to mention that we at market secrets had recently launched a good traders program atp if you are someone who is interested in learning end to end algo trading then you can consider joining our atp program i'll leave the link to it in the description section of this video and with that note let's jump into today's session on how to extend ppf beyond the 15 year lock in or the 15 year maturity period so when a ppf account matures after 15 years there are various options that is being provided to the ppf account holders so let's see all of it in detail first option is closing the ppf account to close the ppf account and withdraw the funds you need to visit the bank or post office where you had opened your ppf account the post office or the bank representative will hand you over the ppf closure form upon submitting the form and the necessary documents your ppf account will get closed the principal amount and the interest it had earned over the last 15 years will be credited to your registered bank account so this is a simple and easy withdrawal process so you can close your account and you can withdraw all the funds that you have in your ppf account that's a one option you have when the ppf account matures now let's see the other options if you still want to continue benefiting from ppf deposit future even after its maturity you can consider extending your ppf account if you don't want to infuse more money into ppf account you can choose to extend the ppf account without contributing any fresh funds this will ensure you continue to earn interest until you close the account so what you can do is like after 15 years you can stop further investments into the fund and you can just keep it for the block of next to 5 years so you can extend your ppf account without further investment this way your existing funds will continue to get the high interest rate so this is one option extending your account without further investment and the next thing is you can extend your ppf account with additional investment so if you do not need funds at the ppf maturity or if your retirement is far away you should consider extending your ppf account by extending the ppf account and making fresh contributions you will continue to earn high interest rate and also benefit from the tax exception investment and returns this will ensure you have a sufficient retirement corpus when you likely need it to extend the ppf account with fresh contribution you need to submit form h with a minimum contribution of rupees 500 within one year from the maturity of the ppf account this way you can extend ppf account life by another 5 years so these are the three options you have you can close your account and withdraw the funds you can continue with your ppf account without further investment or you can continue with your ppf account with additional investments but there are few things that you need to note here ppf account extension can be done only in the block of 5 years so upon maturity of the account you can extend the account for another 5 years you cannot extend for 1 or 2 years you cannot extend directly for 10 years it should be done in a 5 year blocks and there is no limit on number of times you can renew or extend your ppf account so you can indefinitely continue and renew account after every 5 years so every 5 years you can extend your account and you can do this infinitely there is no limit on number of times you can extend it and once you choose the option to extend the account without making any fresh contribution so if you are opting for this option right if you choose to extend the account without further contribution then you cannot make any contribution even if you want in the future so the moment you stop uh, any fresh investments right once that is done you cannot add additional investments later so you know when you make the choice between these two be very careful okay if you choose this then you cannot you know later come back to and choose this one but if you you know choose this option that is if you continue to you know do fresh investments and if you want to stop after uh, one or two block of 5 years then you can very well do that okay so but if you stop contributing then you cannot resume any uh, contribution okay the fresh contribution will be completely and permanently be stopped and in case 
if you want to continue your contribution to PPF, then you need to make sure that you submit the form H. Okay. So after maturity, you need to submit form H if you want to, you know, continue with fresh investments. Okay. If you do not submit form H within one year uh, from the maturity of the PPF account, then the deposits made after the maturity period will be considered irregular and it will not earn any interest. Okay. Be very careful with that. If you are not submitting form H within the one year period from the maturity of your PPF account, then any additional contribution, it will not earn any interest. Okay. So therefore you need to make sure you submit the form H within the given time period to enjoy the benefits of PPF account. So these are the things that you need to remember while uh, the PPF account matures and you have three options when the PPF account matures. So choose the one that is the right fit for you. So this is how you need to handle your PPF account maturity. If you have any queries about this, let me know in the comment section. I'll be happy to address it. Also hit the like button if you have liked this video and share it with your friends if you find it useful. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video, conduct a live session. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Goodbye.